We have here some questions regarding humanities uh, and creating your own postdoc position with a solo research proposal in hand. Yes, this is uh, possible, I would uh, say. Um, especially if you're in your second postdoc. I mean, for the first postdoc, it's more like postdoc positions, but already in the, if you're doing a second postdoc, uh, there are a lot of opportunities to create even your own junior research group, as we call it. There's, for instance, the Immunator program, which is offered by the German Research Council, where you can apply for your own position to be financed, but also, of course, for young researchers, PhD students who will work with you, and you can establish your own research group. And this is uh, open to all disciplines, um, not just in the field of uh, STEM or um, on natural sciences. Uh, this field, uh, like this special program, for instance, is open to the fields of humanities. It should be um, a research done in the uh, field of um, basic uh, research, as I said. Positions are available in industry, of course, uh, but as I said, there are also a lot of, of opportunities if you have a good idea uh, to create your own project. Of course, you could also apply to the European funding schemes, uh, schemes like the Marie Curie Sklodowskaya Curie Action or like the uh, European Research Council grants. And I would like to give a hint to a useful website here. It's the website of the so called COBI, where you also find some host institutions. And the list over there is really, really long at the moment more than 60 institutions offering themselves as a host for international. Uh, postdocs uh, covering all fields, so you can also see uh, on that side that there is a quite an openness in all research fields for the human humanities. In a lot of cases, for sure, we have to admit if you're dealing like with uh, with with right or you, you're dealing with uh, with human uh, with uh, history, or for instance with German language, of course there uh, should be a good command of uh, German. Language. And I see Anna is back <laughs> with us. I just was talking a little bit about the Amy Noether program. Uh, maybe you could explain a little bit that program uh, more. I was talking about the possibility we are dealing with the question if you can, um, with your own postdoc position and the solid research proposal, uh, you can establish your own group or you can go with a solid proposal and not just applying for open positions. And uh, maybe you could explain a little bit on the Amy Noether program, which you are in the administration and within the German Research Council. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. I don't know what you talked about before, but so I'll just um, start explaining. Um, so, um, the Aminota program um, is for postdocs with a really outstanding record for really high quality, um, yeah, um, high quality uh, postdocs. And what you can do there is you can um, apply for funding for five years for a junior research group. So, you would be the junior research group leader. And so you would be the PI of the group and um, um, yeah, have, of course, uh, PhD students to supervise. And this, of course, gives you a very high level of independence. And um, yeah, once you've finished with a group, you're usually um, applicable to apply also for professorships. So it's a, it's a very good way to um, build an independent research profile at an early stage of your career, so two to four years after your PhD. Um, yeah, and what you would need to do to um, to have this uh, to have this Aminota program uh, research group um, would be first to see um, to first to find a host institution in Germany. So this is mainly the point here. Yeah. And, and could you tell something about a little bit? Yeah, we had later uh, later on a, a little talk on on uh, how is uh, our application uh, judged within foundations and within the funding bodies. So, what is the criteria mm -hmm. you are judging these applications? Um, I mean, is there a proportion of uh, I mean, twenty percent basic sciences and the humanities, forty uh, percent STEM? So, what is the the approach for the for the judge panel for for, for these mm -hmm. uh, programs? Um. So it's open for all, sci all disciplines, so for the humanities and the sciences. Um, you can always um, apply for this, this. There are no deadlines. Um, and um, there's, there's not a strict quota. So um, what is just maybe important to know is that 20% uh, of the um, proposals that get ended, handed in actually get funding. OK, thanks.